processing some of the wild cherry bark, the Prunus serratina, Prunus serratina. And this is one of the trees that grow in our Rocky Mountain Sky Islands in the Great Desert and Sky Islands of the Southwest. And uh, it's a large tree in our eastern forests. However, in this part of the country, it's a small spindly tree that often grows on north facing slopes, often in riparian areas. This, as you can see, is a branch that was broken off in a windstorm, fallen down, but still vibrant, still growing out of this branch. And I'm here harvesting the bark. So I, I was able to salvage the tree branch that had fallen down in a windstorm some time ago. And up in our high mountains, just last week when I was up there, we did get some snow. So this is really the best time to harvest the wild cherry bark. And I'll just show you briefly how I how I harvest it. I use a um, a drawing knife and just pull gently, and the bark comes off in nice nice sheets, as you can see. Then I'll trim it up. I usually process this in. 100% cane alcohol. And I use this in our cough, cough formulas. In my cough formulas that I sell here and give out to people at Wild Herb Ways, located here in uh, Reserve, New Mexico. And this is a very valuable plant. You can read my blog post. I talked a lot about it in the eclectic tradition and the eclectics used it in the same way that I use it as a cough suppressant as a very nice flavoring also in addition uh, they viewed it as a very powerful herb for the liver and uh, they mentioned in my blog post uh, how they use sanguinaria uh, the blood root and mixed with this and use it as a very potent remedy for liver issues. It's very soothing to the stomach, very good in many different formulas. Uh, it mixes well with spikenard, Aurelia racemosa, uh, Ligusticum portare, or and some of our good roots. Sometimes I like to mix in a little sweet Sicily in addition to the, the formula. It makes an excellent cough suppressant, a good flu remedy. Um, can mix it with elderberries and it's a very valuable, valuable plant and uh, I respect it a great deal and I feel very fortunate to have been able to gather some of this and uh, tinctured some already and we'll continue to do that here at Wild Herb Ways. So I encourage you to learn about the plants, learn about the place, learn about the, the people, the way that people use the plants and continue this tradition of our Western herbalism in the Southwest. Thank you.